One life, stun. <laughs> Follow me. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. We are Sean and Rianne and this is Wonderfully Living. And this is another episode in our Backpacking Australia guide. And in this one we're talking about things that you should do in preparation for coming on your working holiday visa in Australia. So before you come to Australia, you'll most likely be all over the place, your head will be spinning and you'll be experiencing all kinds of emotions. But if you do these nine things, you'll be sorted. Let's start with the first one. So the first thing that you're going to have to do, and it kind of goes without saying, is you have to get your visa sorted because if you don't have a working holiday visa, then you won't be able to work and that's not good because you won't have any money. Yep, so the working holiday visa grants you 12 months of eligibility to work and travel in Australia. On the other hand, if you're coming just for a short trip for travel without work, then you have a 90 day tourist visa which is possible to get also. Do note that these tips don't come in particular order, these are just things that you need to consider. Um, second tip I would definitely recommend is having a passport that is valid and most importantly valid for the duration of your stay. So if you're yeah. here for a year visa, make sure it's valid for a full year and a wee bit more because most likely you're going to want to travel around this side of the world since you've spent all of your money and time getting out here. So just do that, it's really important. Yeah. Double check that. Um, I'm pretty sure even when you apply for the visa, you have to have a a passport valid so you might have to have it anyway but just check yeah <laughs> that's one of the things a lot of people would forget yeah this one is extremely important if you have a phone which everyone does now so you're gonna have to unlock your phone which basically means that you can get another sim card when you come to Australia which is essential Yep. for basically everything. So most likely if you're from the UK like we are, you will be on a contract plan with T-Mobile or Vodafone or similar and that means your phone is only able to work with a SIM card of that uh, company. Unlock it, you can use anything, so you can use it all over the world, Asian ones, anywhere. Yeah, you can get it unlocked in like three places and like... Yeah, it's not that expensive but it's a, a small cost that you need to pay and it gets you, gets you where you need to be. Yeah. A, Biggie, which a lot of people probably forget to sort fully, is to cancel or sort direct debits or any outgoings that you have in your home bank account. Okay, so I'm talking things like Netflix, your phone contract, car payments, insurance. Gym. That's gym. a big one. Yeah. Like, a lot of people just forget that. Uh, yeah, just have a look through your online bank and your bank statements or whatever and just wipe out everything that's yeah. possible. If you have any payments, well, sort it. I don't know what you can do. Make arrangements with somebody. No one wants to be paying for things that they don't use. No, exactly. When you're out here in the studio. In, in uh, light of payments and stuff as well, student loans, if you've got one, which you probably do, because a lot of people have in uh, today's day, uh, let them know or contact oh, yes. them, um, letting them know that you are going abroad because we both, had contact from our parents saying we've had contact from the student loan company because we've not been making any money back home, obviously. So do that because I don't even know what the consequences are, but it's better not the finding out. To get yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't think that's not as grim as that, but yeah. It just makes matters easier if you kind of sort everything before you leave. Obviously, you're going to have to book your flight, so get looking at that nice and early to avoid the cost being super expensive. And you should watch her video on how to book real cheap flights, which... True. It's the last one on our channel. Next one's very important, and it's get covered with travel insurance. Jump on a comparison site or your favourite travel insurance company if you have one, and just arrange travel insurance for your time. If feasible, I would recommend adding on worldwide cover, because most likely you are going to jump off to Southeast Asia, or maybe New Zealand, or somewhere around this area, as I said earlier across this side of the world, you're going to want to spend a wee bit of time just seeing it as well. Australia is probably not going to be your only destination on your working holiday visa. Don't think as well you'll be fine without because I had an incident in New York, broke my arm and thankfully I actually got covered. I think we paid like 15 to 30 pounds for travel insurance. It was so cheap, I don't even think. Not for this trip though. Obviously not, but to give you an idea, I was in a city, I thought nothing would happen. Obviously what's going to happen in New York. Broke my arm with like two hours left before I was flying home. 
travel insurance covered that. Don't ruin your trip by small ignorances. Yeah. If you're from the UK like us, then you're really spoiled with the NHS and you don't realise how expensive it all is, but you will be shocked at like how much everything costs. Even like staying in a hospital overnight is like thousands of dollars. Oh, so exactly. don't risk it at all. Like, it's even so worth paying like a couple of hundred pounds and getting it all sorted. Yeah, it's good peace of mind. And it'll probably like keep your mum happy. Yeah. I know it keeps mine happy. Another thing that I would recommend that you do before you come to Australia is sort out your CV, they call it resume over here but it's essentially the same thing and just get it all up to date and looking nice so that you can go over there and not have to worry about it and if you don't have a laptop then you won't have to worry about getting a computer somewhere and try to do it. Yeah, and true. another tip that we learned is that employers like you to highlight your relevant experience rather than your most recent stuff. It's a lot of work that like if you organise your trip with an agency, a travel agency of any kind, they will provide a service like as part of your visa package to get yourself like Aussie C V or resume ready. Um, I think it is just because employers generally prefer things slightly different. I don't know the big difference but hey best take this advice they know what they're talking about. And our second last tip uh, is more of your preference, but it's definitely advised. I would recommend as soon as you arrive, having a place to stay, whether it be a hostel, an Airbnb, a hotel, anything, a camper van, something like that. Just have an address to stay booked for like three days, maybe a week, just so you can come in and find your feet. It's just nice to find your feet. You don't have to come in and get going. It's just kind of acclimatized. You can enjoy yeah. it, explore where you are, get used to the people, the money as well, different things. Yeah. Don't book somewhere like in advance for too long though. Yep. You could just book like three nights in the hostel and then see if you like it there and then you book on longer. 100%. Because imagine you get to a hostel and you've booked like two weeks there and you actually don't like it at all. Yep. So and you've paid for it, so that is one good tip. Don't always book too long, you can always extend if you need, but there's nothing worse than arriving somewhere and you're like, holy <laughs> shit, we've got another week here yeah. and you just want out. This is the last tip and the most important. You have to start saving your money now, unfortunately. And the thing is, is that one of the visa requirements is that you have to have 5,000 Australian dollars in your bank account or a return ticket booked. Out this here. is just to essentially prove to the Australian government that you've got money to support yourself or you're going to just go home if you can't support yourself. Yeah, pretty much. So, I've never actually heard of anyone having this checked True. at the Australian border. It never happened to us and I've just never heard of it happening. So I think it's more of a, just a kind of like... Formality. Yeah. But don't stress if you don't have that. I don't think we had that. Did no, we never had that. We didn't have that, so <laughs> look at us. Still don't have that. <laughs> so um, don't worry about it. But at the same time, best to do that. Yeah, they, if, yeah. if they ask for it, um, if you do get filled up, obviously they're going to want to see that. They would want proof, so yeah. try and save it. If not, like, <laughs> who cares? Blame it on someone. Yeah, just say you got robbed. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, that is the end of this video. We hope you found these nine tips of things that are really important to do before you come to Australia. If you have covered all these tips and you're actually now coming or you're here in Australia, we also have a video of things that you should do as soon as you arrive. It's a few, a few point pointers. <laughs> it's a few short pointers to get you up on your feet and running as soon as you arrive in Australia so you can have the best time on your stay. So check that out as well. We'll have that here and like somewhere on the screen or in the description. However, if you're new here, welcome to our channel. Thank you for watching and you should join us. We have massive travel plans commencing as of like next week. We have, we're like four months into our farm work. We've well and truly blown our eight to eight days out the park. And we're here just for a wee bit extra cash. So we've got about one week left of work. Yeah. And then the fun begins. What kind of places do you think the channel will oh, be Oh, bad places, bad places. Um, we're going to the Wet Sundays. We're going to Fraser Island. And then, oh, I don't know if I should tell you anything. No? I don't know. If you want to see some Bad too. places, bad places. Um, Stay with I'm us. Basically we've got massive travel plans taking us from right now right up to Christmas. We're going to see so many different countries and places. I think you should come with us. We're inviting you. Yeah. You think you should come? Oh, Space yeah. for one more? Well, if you want to come, hit subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, Please subscribe.